Alright folks, welcome back to the Dawn's channel. I am the Dawn Father and I'm now going to quickly run through my AFL tipping comp predictions for round 7 2020. First up on the Thursday night, <coughs> excuse me, Thursday 16th of July, it's Geelong versus Collingwood and this is at the Optus Stadium in Western Australia so it's great to see games actually back out in Perth. Um, Geelong versus Collingwood then, just run through the form. Geelong have actually got four out of five wins now. The three coming in a row, a loss, and then one in round one. Collingwood have only managed two wins out of five and a draw. Um, so I actually feel that going into this one, not only for the fact that Geelong um, have the three wins in a row going into it and they've got form on their side, I just think they're actually playing the better footy as well. So on that note, I'm not going to beat about the bush too much with this prediction here. I'm going to go with a Geelong win. Both teams, of course, away from home in this one. Uh, both travel to the Western Australian hub. Nobody's got the advantage in terms of home um, advantage, um, which is good. Um, so calling it Geelong, fourth win in a row. Could it be five wins out of their last six games? We'll have to wait and see. Geelong win. Friday night then, I went with my heart over possibly my head here. Bearing in mind, I would actually say Essendon have been the, probably the most consistent team at getting um, wins. And I mean by consistent, I mean in the sense that just getting a win and no more. That's how consistent they are. Um, they're scraping games. Excuse me, they're scraping games at times. But they're getting the win in their last five games then. Well, one of them was postponed, but they've actually got four wins out of uh, five that they played. Out of six rounds, they've four wins and again postponed. And their game in hands against Melbourne. So you'd think that could be possibly five wins if that game had actually been played. They could be sitting on 20 points right now. So on that note, Essendon are flying. Bulldogs have managed three wins out of the last five. Obviously, they got beat at the weekend off Carlton, not just be absolutely destroyed, which was quite devastating for me to watch. Really disappointed with that. But I think the, the, the doggies will respond. This one is at the Metricon, the Friday night feature game. Um, I think they'll be up for it. I think they'll be licking their, they'll have licked their wounds. They'll have uh, analysed where they've went wrong. I actually have got to just say, they just, they lacked fight. The three times they've lost this year, they just lacked a lot of fight. There's no denying the Bulldogs have the quality. And when they are actually fired up for it, they can beat anyone on their day. So it was really frustrating watching that Kelton game. Because they just crumbled. like A lot like round one against Collingwood. They just fell apart. And then the St Kilda game as well. They just fell apart when they, they fell behind. Uh, and that was the most disappointing thing um, I've seen last year in 2019 when they were going behind they managed to fight their way back into it and we haven't seen that in 2020 so far so regardless of all of this I'm going for a Bulldogs win I feel that they'll they'll come out roaring if you like um, early on they'll get the lead in the first half and hopefully they'll, they'll be able to do it enough to see out the win Bulldogs win Friday night this is another um, game here, that is quite a difficult one to predict. Saturday then, 18th of July, at the Giants Stadium, home advantage Giants. There will be a crowd there, of course. Not a full capacity, but crowd there all the same. Going into it, the Giants are off the back of a defeat. Two wins before that, and in rounds one, uh, or two and three, they, they lost uh, those two rounds. Lions off the back of a, a, a defeat there as well uh, last week and four wins um, prior to that. So they four wins out of five to the Giants too out of the last five weeks. Uh, I'm going to go with a Lions win. I think they're strong. I think they'll bounce back. They certainly were not playing in particular um, Lions fashion, I thought, at the weekend. I was quite disappointed, actually. Um, I expected a lot more from them. They're probably, them and Port are the two most convincing teams so far in terms of how they went about and dismantled teams. Played really good stuff. Um, so on that note, I think they'll bounce back and I'm going to go where Lions win. Swans versus Gold Coast Suns then at the SCG. Of course the big news coming out is Josh uh, Kennedy and Isaac Heaney are going to be missing. So that's a huge blow. And of course the Swans have lost the last three games in a row. They've only managed one win in five games. Um, the last five games. Um, 
and Gold Coast Suns, of course, they're off the back of two defeats and three wins before that, but they've lost um, Matt Rowe, who's been a huge loss for them. Let's not make any mistake about that. Huge blow. Um, so, I don't think it's going to be a convincing team. If I, No matter what side wins here, it's not going to be a huge win. It's not going to be a big margin. But I'm hoping it'll be a good game, that one. I think two teams are of a similar standard this year. I think that's fair to say. I'm going to go with a home win at the SCG for the Swans. Um, I think they need it. They need a bit of a lift after hearing devastating news of these two big senior players. Um, experienced players are going to be missing. But as I said in a previous video, this is a chance now for somebody who maybe wouldn't necessarily start every week or get the call all the time to stand up and make a name for themselves and grab that jersey and keep that jersey. So it's like there's two positions now open for you. Um, make them count. Swans win anyway. Richmond versus North at the Metricon then. Richmond's managed two wins in a row now. They're not playing brilliantly whatsoever Richmond um, and only two wins in the last five rounds so that's really really terrible by Richmond standards and North are off the back of four straight defeats and a win in round two um, I'm going to go with a Richmond win I think this one's got the makings of another poor game. I don't know what it is about Richmond. They're not playing nice stuff. It's quite disappointing to see, actually. I had high hopes for them coming into 2020 that they would just be unplayable. Nobody would be able to handle this handball and ticky-tacky, ticky-tacka type uh, brand of footy that they had in 2019 that nobody could really handle in 2019. I thought they would have brought it into 2020. It just really hasn't been the case. Of course, there's a couple of players not travelled with them to the hub. I think that's a big Blow. They've got some injuries, which are also a big blow. They just haven't got the found that flow yet. They just haven't found the Richmond way yet. But that being said, I do think they'll win. I've predicted a Richmond win purely because North aren't playing well at all right now. Um, and do you know what? I think Richmond do need to keep grinding out the results, even if it is Essendon style right now of just getting the job done. Points on the board, um, that's what matters at the end of the day. It doesn't really matter. I know percentages are important, but getting the victory is more important, if you know what I'm saying. So, that was the last game. There's only three games on Saturday. There's actually four games on Sunday. The first game coming is Carlton versus Port. This will be quite a good one, actually. Um, Carlton have managed three wins in uh, the last five games. Port have managed four. Um, Port are going into this. Probably the more informed team. Probably the um, team that I've been most impressed by so far in 2020 as well, if I'm being brutally honest. This one is at the Gabba, so nobody's got home advantage. Of course, it's Port's, Port's last game and their Queensland hub. So they'll be going back to um, South Australia, um, hopefully wagging their tails. I'd imagine they'll be hoping for that against Carlton. Carlton were mightily impressive against um, the Bulldogs, which was really disappointing, as I've already said. Uh, managed to win by a 52-point margin, 103-51. It was an absolutely incredible performance. The, the fourth quarter, they just exploded and managed six goals. i never seen it coming. Uh, the way they had been playing, they'd fully deserved the win, but the way they just absolutely annihilated the Bulldogs in the last quarter, wow, just doffed my hat to them. Incredible performance um, across the field. They were just from brilliant from front to back. Um, but that being said, how good a performance that was from Kelton, and they've managed to grind out wins as well um, in rounds two and three. I still think Port are going to be too much for Carlton on the day, and I'm, t I'm predicting a Port win. Hawks versus Melbourne then at the um, Giants uh, Stadium. Hawks defeated in the last two rounds. Uh, they won the two before that, and the one before that they've lost. They've managed two wins out of the last five games, um, and same as Melbourne, who actually had a postponed week as well in round three um, against Essendon of course and they lost the next two games after that of course they won last week so they'll probably take a little bit of confidence from that all that being said though even if uh, the days do actually take confidence from that game I think the Hawks are still a strong enough side. They've just been pretty disappointing but they actually have got good players they've been defensively 
shaky at times. I've been quite surprised at how uh, easy they have been to penetrate at the back there. I thought they'd be a little bit better than that this year, but anyway, I still think the Hawks have a lot more quality in the team than, than uh, Melbourne do, and I'm predicting a Hawks win. The big game of the weekend, the arguably the biggest game of the weekend, purely down to the fact that it's a huge rivalry. Uh, Frio versus the West Coast Eagles. Uh, both of them actually bang exactly the same form in the last five rounds. Uh, both winning their last two games and losing the three before that. Um, so two wins out of five for both teams. Both of them going back to Western Australia in front of a crowd here at the Optus Stadium. I'm really looking forward to watching this one. I think it will be played at a high intensity. Um, Frio were actually pretty good at the weekend, I must admit. Um, they fought back and they got the win. A uh, thoroughly deserved a win, to be honest with you. I thought they were going to lose because they went behind, but they managed to claw their way back in and grind out the result. So massive congratulations to them for doing that. West Coast Eagles, if they are on their day, and I mean they're really playing on their day, they're arguably in the top two teams in the competition. They really are. When, But when them or Richmond play their game plan, they play their way, they are just an, an, an incredible footy team to watch. The problem is we haven't seen enough of it in 2020. Them or Richmond, they haven't done it. So, this one's a really difficult one. I don't think either team, if whoever wins this one, is going to win by a huge scoreline. It'll be a very competitive game being the derby. Um, it'll be heated, there's no doubt about that. Um, but I'm going to go with a West Coast Eagles victory, I think. Over the over the course of 2020 so far, I think they've shown glimpses of what they're all about. A little bit more than Frio have. Um, I think they've possessed more quality in their team as well. And I think they'll get the job done. Uh, West Coast Eagles victory and Derby Day. Looking forward to it anyway. On to the last game of the round seven at the Adelaide Oval now we're back in South Australia first game back in the South Australia since of course the showdown um, Crows versus St Kilda Crows have lost all six games haven't they so the last five games five losses uh, St Kilda have managed three wins out of five of course they lost last week Frio it was wasn't it um, yeah, Frio just talked about that, Frio um, fighting their way back into that one, but St Kilda have been a very, very good side to watch. I've been really, really impressed with the way they've been playing footy this year. Um, Crows have been, I don't want to harp on week in and week out and just fucking rub mud into them. I don't want to take the piss out of them too much. We all know they've got troubles on and off the footy field right now, it's not looking great. Um, so I'm just going to lay it out there, St Kilda win. So just quickly to run through all my tips for the, the round seven. At Geelong, Bulldogs, Lions, Swans, Richmond, Port, Hawks, West Coast Eagles and St Kilda. Thanks very much for listening to that uh, tipping video. Really appreciate your continued support and for anybody new, I hope you'll enjoy the content coming. We're going to be doing more reactions as uh, just as always. Um, I'll be doing the footies reviews as well of some of the games, some feature games that I'll do. I'll do a review of um, and other stuff as well. You, you just don't know what I'm going to be doing from one week to the next. Neither do I. So um, just loads of footy content to come. Anyway. Um, don't forget folks, I'd really love it if you could become a patron, it really will help the channel. And um, There's a few people now down under that are doing it, uh, and all the proceeds from that are going to fund an air AFL vlogging trip um, as a channel, as a family, so that would be greatly appreciated. And if you don't want to sign up to nothing, but you fancy just throwing in a wee donation, we've got Donate get us to Oz, uh, just for a one-off uh, little donation, that would be fantastic too. Don't forget to subscribe troops and fire the notifications bell on if you haven't already done so. That will help you from missing any of our videos when we upload them, if you put the bell on. Also, a few thumbs up on the videos always do help the traffic come into the channel. Uh, thanks very much again troops. I am the Dawn Father, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.